And then, like, Okay. Show me what it does. I don't know why, but you know, the serial uh, there's no reason to function. It's doing pretty well for not being plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> there's no reason to happen with this radar. That's okay. One note. zone in the, uh, in the tuning peg when it goes too far and then it has to come back like 10 or 15 Learn steps before it starts actually on. loosening the tension in the string. Mm -hmm. Is that the dead zone there? Uh, that yeah. was actually just in there. Oh, okay. This trip select you zoom in going low every time we send. should be low every time we send a byte to it. So the potential meter is just to select different notes on the L C screen. Okay. So we can two, three, two, one step. So that dead zone there is like stuck in back yeah. about 10 or 15 times before it actually loosened uh -huh. it. Why does it try a whole bunch of times out previously? It was sort of just the, uh, the strumming it a bunch. Yeah. It's pretty uh, difficult to get yeah, it to exact point. Triggered on before we set low. But then the first thing sent here should be its channel and address. So sometimes it'll read like <coughs> sometimes it'll read the, the correct frequency right away. Mm -hmm. Higher notes are obviously higher in amplitude and they're easier to read. Well, the lower notes are lower in amplitude, and, and the, the signal's much shorter. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have as much of a sample period. So it's a, it's a compromise between either a longer sample period with more noise, or a shorter sample period that's cleaner. Yeah. And obviously that changes the frequency at which you're playing. The lower frequencies are obviously quieter, higher frequencies are obviously no, like louder. Right. Cool. Yeah. So if you have the threshold too low and you play a high note, you're obviously going to get a lot of noise. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Cool. Huh. Thanks.